Hello everyone, Marcia Baker with Sketch Note Boss. Thanks for joining us in this video. Today, I am turning over the reins to Eden Keefe. She is a uh, visual faith coach with Visual Faith Ministries, as am I, and she is sharing her junk journal that she made. Um, it's got, there's a printable to it, and I'll link the link below for the printable, um, but it's got 28 verses, and then you can uh, just Take one of those verses and kind of reflect on it, do a little journaling. And she has just taken some old cards and some other things to do. Instead of um, drawing some things, she's kind of put together a very artful journal just with some junk. And uh, it's really awesome. I think you're going to love it. So um, I just hope you just love this whole post. It's got, you know, our just Thanksgiving roundup. So uh, with the gar gratitude garland and uh, some other things going on like that. So anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, here's Eden. Hello everyone, it's Marcia Baker, and uh, you are looking at Eden Keefe, and she is a visual faith coach, and she is going to tell us all about her Thanksgiving project, which is a junk journal. So Eden, yeah. I'm just going to turn it over to you and let you talk a little bit. So share what you're doing this uh, this month. Well, thanks, Mark. Um, well, we're doing a Thanksgiving scripture junk journal, and I am not a very... Um, proficient media, mixed media artist. So when I first saw this idea last year, because they were using cards and you could get them inexpensively at Dollar Tree, <laughs> I thought, I think I can do that. And so we, that's what we started out with. And what we did again this year, we got um, a, a larger card for a dollar uh, to use as a cover. We got four smaller size cards, two for a dollar for the insides and the envelopes. And the way we are decided to put it together, um, obviously we use little book rings to do that part, but my daughter and I worked together and um, I had a list of scripture verses that had to do with thanksgiving, a grateful heart, um, praise, and we decided to take the scripture and then also write a little prompt to go with it so that we could start the beginning of November and work our way toward Thanksgiving in the Word, kind of focusing specifically on gratitude, and with the prompts, then reflect a little bit on what we had read. So that gives us that little extra, take that little extra time to perhaps journal um, your thought based on that prompt. And then Allie really wanted to then also have the aspect of thanksgiving with it. And so read, reflect, and respond with thanksgiving. After you worked through that journal prompt, you would then say, you know, your thank you, Lord. Uh, for whatever it was. And the nuts and bolts of it are, like I mentioned, we just use cards. And um, I love Thanksgiving cards. They are, to me, they're just gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And I also love that they kind of color coordinate. <laughs> you know, when you, you work your way, if you look at a rack of Thanksgiving cards, it's not too hard to find things that look so, so pretty together. And they're not overtly feminine. So you can put something like this together and share it with your husband, your son, your nephew, or something like that. So from a uh, mom standpoint, uh, I felt comfortable last year making one up and handing off to my son, knowing that, you know, it would be something that he wouldn't mind working in. And that was a really a plus for me. Now, on the inside cover, <clears throat> I did... Um, I actually put my blessing list oh. and that's so I can record a blessing for each day. It really wasn't part of the original resource packet, but because, you know, we can all do our own and make it personal. This is how I chose to use it. So I put a kind of a month, a November blessing list portion on the inside cover. So it would be handy every day. And then you can see, I just have a, another beautiful card and on the back is then where I started using my prompts and the prompts all came on two pages so you I cut them apart and I put them on the back of that front right and left plenty of space for journaling I thought I left plenty of space I've had no problem filling it up so like the first day was the 
the verse was First Chronicles 16, verses 8 through 12. So I read that portion. The prompt was, what wondrous works or acts do you see God doing in your life? So I had to think about that a little bit. And then I journaled according to that prompt. And for me, it was placing faithful people in my life, family, friends, and pastors. And then my respond with Thanksgiving part was, thank you, Lord, for uplifting and supporting me through family and friends and receiving your grace and faithful word and sacrament service. Um, and you can see that in, in the packet that uh, Diane put together, and this is on the Visual Faith Ministry website for, for as a free download, she included some graphic things. And one of the graphics was that read, reflect, respond with Thanksgiving. So I just incorporated that um, on the next page of my junk journal because this is how I use my envelope. I used it for another prompt. Oh, that's awesome. So I just tuck that in. And then the back of the envelope has space again for more prompts and more journaling. And then, and that's really how it kind of goes all the way through. So you're going to see I put a prompt in. These are obviously pages I haven't had gotten to yet. And it goes that way all the way through the journal. I like having the envelope also because if you get a card in the mail, or there's something that jumps out at you, maybe as you're on your Facebook or something like that, and you want to kind of keep that together, you can slip it in an envelope and then it, and you have it all as one piece. Um, I did one last year. That was my first. Uh, so I learned a few things putting it together and I tried to pass it along. So part of that Thanksgiving journal resource was a supply list, which is very basic, um, especially if you go with cards. Now, if you're a crafter and you have card stock you want to use and all, all the bits and bobs and you do the fabrics and you do the ribbons, I love it because you personalize it the way you want to do it. But if you're somebody that's like, I just need to know how to put it together using basic elements, that's what this is for. So it's really just your paper cutter and scissors, your cards, envelopes, a hole punch so you can punch those. If you don't have, have book rings or care to go out and buy them, twine will work. It's just how you're going to put it together and be able to open it up, right? So that's not a big deal. Something to use for adhesive. And then, um, like I mentioned, the scripture verses and the prompts were available um, just to cut out and, and to use. Um, I also did include some pictures in there so you can kind of see how uh, we put it together. Again, just for a visual prompt or cue, but you can make it fancy as you want. You can, I've had people that said, I had one gal that said she had to go to one and a half inch rings because she put more prompts, you know, rather than doing two prompts to a page, she did maybe just one prompt to a page. So she had to, to use more. You can use all your other little pits and then have fun with your stickers and go from there. It's just a really fun way to daily. It doesn't take a lot of time, but it just puts you in that attitude of gratitude place, realizing A, where your blessings come from, from whom they come, giving you a time to respond to God for his thankfulness, and then to have it as a piece to remember. And I've made a couple so that uh, some friends and I will be together and doing this together uh, kind of keeps you connected, that piece. And then you have it for coming years. And if you, someone, Diane, I think, um, was mentioning that, like, if you are together at Thanksgiving and you have little cards that you write on something you're thankful for, if you wanted to collect them and put them in, that would be a memory piece for you. So they added, actually added a couple more things on with it. And that's the beauty of it because you can personalize it to how you want to do it. You use it and then you keep it, you know, as you want to, but it's kind of a legacy piece in us as well. Faith piece. Absolutely. Oh, thank you so much for sharing that. Cause I just, I think that, um, in fact, I love the printable because I know a lot of people wanted to continue on the read, pray, read, pray sketch, but don't have any verses right now. So this would be a great way to incorporate that into that book, but I just, or if you're doing the, where did it go? There you go. Your, 
your uh, gratitude, the, grat yeah. the little gratitude book that we did this week. So there's some great ideas to write your blessing every day. So I decided I was working on a little calendar every day, but maybe on the back, maybe I will just, I just love that. Just, you know, so just, you know, on my blank pages back here, I might just write a blessing every day. So anyway, we just want to just give you guys tons of resources to be able to finish your book. Um, you know, and just see what other people are doing and figure out what works for you. So, Eden, thank you so much for just sharing that with us again. Just give us an update on that. And uh, I will post that um, link to that, the handout. Now, it, the supply list is in that handout. Yes, in the handout, you have the supply list. You have the instruction sheet, create how to put it together. I, I enclosed some photos so you can see what, what you know you can do what it kind of looks like inside and then it has the two pages of um the cut apart scripture verse and prompts awesome. for you and then a few other little graphics that you could cut out and use in your book if you want awesome well Eden, thank you so much and um i will get that posted uh, a little bit well it'll be in this link like look look down under this link and i will have that link for the handout and uh, again so everybody out there watching this, post what you're doing under the under this link. We want to see what you guys are doing. So because I know you guys are having amazing ideas out there, and uh, we just want to share. And uh, and it's all about you know giving thanks and being in the Word and and just thanking the Lord for for His abundant blessings. So Eden, thanks again for being with us. You're welcome. I know that there were some people that said, oh, you know, you could do this as a, a scripture during Advent. Um, for Christmas as well and last year I also I did not do it for Advent but I did it for the 12 days of Christmas yeah Using, um, some printables I found and, and this would go great for sketch noting for those of you that are good at, at, at your icons um, what like a partridge in a pear tree what it that symbolizes so starting December 5th through January 5th and ending right there at Epiphany you know you could put together a fun little junk journal uh, sketch noting the 12 days of Christmas and what the religious meanings are. So that's kind of a fun thing to do. Oh, there, and there's a ton of history. I love the 12 days of Christmas. In fact, I did um, Christmas cards every year and I personalized them. Like, the year I was pregnant with um, my second son, I did um, six geese a laying and <laughs> these <laughs> six very distressed gir uh, geese on gurneys outside a labor and delivery. Um, and uh, the year we got a dog, I, it was five goldens in a ring. Anyway, I just had such fun with that. So I really feel like I want to do something else with the 12 days of Christmas. I just... I, I'm just had to figure that out, but yeah, so maybe making a sketch note project out of it. So that um, might be fun, yeah. and it's something to do in that interim time because we we tend to, you know, the busyness of the holidays right. is, is it's a little less, right? And it gives you time to kind of have a little fun to play, maybe. So Absolutely. I'll look forward to seeing what you come up with. All right, we'll talk <laughs> about that. All right, well, thank you, Eden, and we will look forward to seeing your posts and see what you guys are what you're doing. So thanks for being with us. Thanks for asking me. All right.